Hey guys, so this is mid coat here. I did the first coat. I let it dry here for a couple hours. Now there's a couple areas I'm just gonna point out because again, again, uh, these videos are kind of try to help people. Maybe you can kind of see a couple techniques you're gonna like, catch up on, try out, all that fun stuff. Uh, but main reason people ask why do I do two, two, at least three main coats? I mean, granted that first part I did kind of two lighter coats, and then on the top half I only did the one. You know, again, because sometimes you need to grab at weird angles. Um, but even then, hopefully lighting is showing up well. It's right behind here, right under here, um, right in this little area as well. Uh, you know, a couple areas that need to get touched up just a shade. And as well, I mean, you may just want to order some extra dirt coat if it's your first time, just in case you mess up in general. But uh, otherwise, besides that, this thing turned out really darn nice. Usually the sight post needs a little bit, does need a shade in, right in between there. Uh, but otherwise, besides that, it turned out pretty well. And as well, just right there, there as well. Again, that's uh, the reason I talked about the stock, kind of. Um, instead of taking this thing apart, because it would have took forever. And mainly because I haven't done it before, and you know, just kind of unfamiliar with it. But when I did one of these before, I did the same thing, where I had kind of the L shape going. And then for you know the second part, I extended the stock, and I got the other little areas, which again would be right here right here and pretty much just you know again little itty bitty areas so uh, a little bit of strenuous you know what I mean adds a lot of extra time you gotta, again you gotta let the stuff dry not necessarily this long half an hour would probably be adequate but I kinda you know let it dry for a long time here so I could actually handle this well and again I'm gonna take a dry cloth and just you know wipe it in case if I have any slight debris on my hands wipe it off so uh, but again looks pretty darn nice in comparison to a standard you know crappy century finish so all right now besides that ah uh, crap I don't have a flashlight for the stuff over there and again this is my dad's basement very nice to let me do this stuff over here because you know otherwise I wouldn't really have anywhere to do this stuff stuff turned out pretty well very very packed with junk unfortunately I mean uh, you know a lot of random old stuff like a TV from the 80s fun stuff but uh Definitely have a lot of options. As well, kind of a mid thing I'm doing here, it's just going to be a separate video. Uh, maybe this one will be post first, but I'm doing these uh, 8K mags. I did the one side, and i got to let the stencil dry so I can kind of do the other side on it. Turned out pretty cool, though. Uh, neat stuff, so be sure to look for that guy. Uh, otherwise, besides that, let's do that final coat. And basically, again, it's going to be getting all those little touched up areas. But with that, you can't just simply... You have to really do the whole thing again. You have to do a whole nother coat. Uh, reasons, if you're wondering why, you basically need to do it because if you just, you're going to have that overspray just slightly. Yeah, sorry, I'm looking at my camera here. It's kind of not being super focusy. I think it's because of all the darkness in the back. And you're, you're going to spray, you're going to have some overspray, and it's not going to even out. You got to do, you know, again, light sprays over the entire thing. And with that, you're not adding a whole lot of extra layer, so things again aren't being uneven, but you're not doing overspray anywhere, so. Uh, again, a little time consuming on everything. But uh, let's get everything prepped, and I'm gonna do the next coat here. Which, goddamn though, this fucking. This finish again, guys, I'm sorry. I hope it's appearing nice in the camera, but it's very, very like crazy awesome in comparison and as well uh, one thing I'm gonna mention when I put this kind of up here so I can show you but people are wondering about this sling loop uh, I actually rigged it earlier I might have to rig it here again see it's wobbling a little bit it was not doing that initially I uh, same thing as I used a uh, q-tip here I cut just barely cut it up and I shoved it right in between that little area to kind of make this stiff Otherwise, that will leave marks everywhere. Just a little warning to everyone out there. These things that you can't really take off because how they're mounted on there, and again, unless they take off the whole stock, they're a pain in the ass at times. So be very, very, very leery of that. But all right, let's uh, get this other coat done.
All right, guys, so here's the end product of this whole thing. Uh, you can kind of see how it turned out. Uh, you can kind of see, I hope again, hope the light works good here. Hope you can see great, but basically that was kind of the original phosphate. Uh, it's actually a Parker Eyes was the original finish. It's kind of looked similar to it, but as now it's the matte black. So, I think it turned out pretty well overall. Um, the only real big area that was a pain to do was right here because, again, I had to get that stuff stuck in between, so it was kind of sticking more or less out. A couple times it leaned a little bit one way and other, and I uh, just had to be careful so, you know, it didn't basically smear because that is a big, big no-no. So, but close this guy again here and... This is also why I'm doing this stuff on a pad. Don't gotta worry about it scratching up, but uh, overall I think it turned out pretty darn well. So, thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to check out my other Duraco vids. A lot of those are the only times you see a lot of those uh, very custom, uh, very unique looking firearms. So, thanks for watching, and definitely feel free to check those out.